Okay, space thriller starring Sandra Bullock hits the big screen today. WNW movie critic James Milner saw the film and he joins us now with the review. Good morning, James. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I am really good. And especially after seeing this movie, I am a little terrified, but <laughs> I am really excited to share this movie yeah, with you Yeah, tell us about it. Well, um, at the beginning of the trailer, you have a phrase that says, life in space is impossible. And this couldn't be any for any, uh, this definitely is the truth in this movie. And the reason being is that there's no oxygen. As you see, these objects come flying. And you have Sandra Bullock, George Clooney playing two astronauts. Sandra Bullock, this is her inaugural spacewalk. Uh, George Clooney, this is his last spacewalk. Kind of, so kind of a new old uh, yeah. astronaut relationship. They're fixing uh, something with the Hubble telescope and uh, space debris comes flying their way. And so they have to abort their mission. Unfortunately, with this shuttle, the shuttle is completely damaged and they have to figure out a way to get home and to survive in space. So this is, seeing this, I saw this on IMAX 3D. It is phenomenal, one of my favorite movies of the year. And Sandra Bullock in this movie is giving an Oscar worthy, worthy performance as, as the medical uh, engineer here. And at times this movie is really quiet because in space, as you know, yeah. <laughs> um, the big phrase uh, is no one can hear you scream in space. We, we were told that in Aliens, and, or an Alien. And this is really interesting because all the effects are muffled and muted. The characters' voices and their physical exhaustion is pretty much the only thing you hear. And what Sandra Bullock does, and I don't even know how they, they did behind the scenes with this. I know they filmed her face a lot and everything else is visual affected. And it is just a phenomenal movie. Um, this wow. is by Alfonso Cuaron, who brought us Children of Men and the third Harry Potter movie. So if you're looking for yeah. a fun space aged movie, this is the one to see. It and also this is happens rated to be PG, PG 13. Okay. So it is still intense, even though it is a lower rating, it's okay. still pretty uh, terrifying oh, yeah. for kids. Good for the whole family then. Uh, sure. I mean, it's not well, really so. Yes, exactly. Okay, thanks, James. Now, they can read your full review, right? Yeah, my full review is in Toledo Free Press this weekend and as well on my blog at thegoldnight.com. Okay, thanks, James, for being no here.